The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. If you accomplish something good with hard work, the labor passes quickly, but the good endures. If you do something shameful in pursuit of pleasure, the pleasure passes quickly, but the shame endures. Others have been in poor health from overindulgence and high living before exile has provided strength, forcing them to live a more vigorous life. Thus, it appears that exile helps rather than hinders body and spirit by treating them better than they treat themselves. The first step, don't be anxious. The second step, concentrate on what you have to do. Fix your eyes on it. Remind yourself that your task is to be a good human being. Then do it without hesitation. Stop letting yourself be pulled in all directions, but make sure you guard against the other kind of confusion. People who labor all their lives but have no purpose to direct every thought and impulse toward are wasting their time even when hard at work. Remember how long you've been putting this off, how many extensions the gods gave you and you didn't use them. At some point, you have to recognize what the world it is that you belong to, what power rules it, and from what source you spring, that there is a limit to the time assigned you and if you don't use it to free yourself, it will be gone and will never return. In your actions, don't procrastinate. In your conversations, don't confuse. In your thoughts, don't wander. In your soul, don't be passive or aggressive. In your life, don't be all about business. Whatever can happen at any time can happen today. How long will you wait before you demand the best of yourself? If you remain careless and lazy, making excuse after excuse, fixing one day after another, when you will finally take yourself in hand, your lack of progress will go unnoticed, and in the end, you will have lived and died unenlightened, Finally decide that you are an adult who is going to devote the rest of your life to making progress.